get there before you should have been around for longer than I've heard of it. I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a film look and today I'm going to be working in Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm actually going to be using a LUT that I created and I'm actually going to give that to you. Um, I'll include a download link in the description. I have a bunch of clips here in this sequence. So the first thing I need to do with this is go to my project and in here I'll have all my clips and then I need to add a new item so I'm going to click on this and I want to add an adjustment layer so select that okay so we have our adjustment layer and basically we're just going to take this and just drag it into our sequence and I'll just drag this out to the end so what the adjustment layer is going to do is going to basically act like a layer in Photoshop. And you can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can add effects to it, um, and it's not going to affect your bottom footage. So this is important because if you spend all the time editing one single clip and then applying the same effects to the next clip, and the next clip, and the next clip, um, it's just going to take you. It's going to take you a while to do. So adding an adjustment layer and then adding your effects to that layer will allow you to just carry that layer across the whole timeline. What I've done is I've actually created a LUT file, and I created that in Photoshop. And I'm not going to get into how I created that because that's a pretty long process. So I'm just going to show you guys how it works and I'll give you the LUT file to play with. And hopefully in a future tutorial, I'll actually show you guys how to create one of those. Next, I need to go into my effects and I'm going to add a Lumetri effect to this adjustment layer. So I'll just drag that over. And it's gonna bring up a box and you have to select the appropriate file. So I'm going to be using this one, the film.3dl, and I'll just open that up. Yeah, so this is the effect I created in Photoshop. One thing I need to do with this is I just need to add um, some noise to this, just because I'm going for like a film look. So I'm just going to add a little bit of noise to this. And I'm actually going to add that just to my adjustment layer. And I'm just going to add just a small amount, I'll go with five. So, and that should be pretty good. So if I click on this and I can turn this off and then turn it back on. And you can see throughout the sequence, the look is basically the same because I have it, the LUT on that adjustment layer and it's carried out through the entire sequence. So hopefully you guys can use this uh, film look LUT I created.